So I've just started organic chemistry with the uh, 12s and we are in the process of learning how to name organic uh, compounds. So I thought I'd make a quick video with nine different um, classes of organic compounds here to try and tease out all the different rules that you've got to get in your head um, to get them named properly. Obviously the, the term for this is nomenclature or organic nomenclature. It's just the term we use for naming organic compounds. So if you want to have a go at those, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so the first one is an alkane. So it's it's going to end in A-N-E. Its suffix is ane. So we're looking for the longest continuous um, carbon chain and it's the one straight down the middle. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carbons in that chain. So this is going to be um, hept. It's going to have hept in the name. I'll write all the names up at the end, okay? So I'm just going to sort of, I'll, I'll go through the name of it and talk and say the name. And at the very end, I'll put all the names on in one go and then you can just see the names, okay? I think that'll be the best way to do it. Right, so hept is the longest continuous chain. Counting from this side, we've got a methyl group. That's a methyl group on carbon number one, two, three which would make that carbon number four okay so three and four if we count this way we get bigger numbers one two three four five so we've got to go on the lower numbers so it's a three four dimethyl heptane okay so three four dimethyl heptane would be that one okay so b now this is an alkene, so it's it's ending, its suffix is ene, -E, ene. So longest continuous chain, we can either go this way, one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. So either way, it's it's four, so butte. So this is butte. Um the carbon carbon double bond starts at, well, if we count this way, it starts at one, two, three or it starts at one. Obviously one's a lower number, so it's a, a but one ene and therefore that's got to be carbon number three. And that's a methyl group on carbon number three of but one ene so this is called three methyl but one ene Three methyl but one ene Okay, so moving on to C now, we've got an alcohol. So the the ending or the suffix is O. Um, right, longest continuous chain. So down the middle, we get one, two, three, four, five. But this, if we count this chain here, we get a bigger number, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the longest continuous chain is six long, so this is hex. Um, right, so in terms of the functional group, that's going to take priority in the numbering system. So we get a two counting this side and we get one, two, three, four, five counting this way. So obviously it's a two. So this is a two all. It's a hexan two all of some description. And we've got here. So one, two, three. This is four that then. So we've got a methyl group on carbon four. So this would be called 4-methyl-hexan-2-ol. You'll see I've changed my mind in when I'm putting the names on. I've put the first three on now, okay? Just to, just to make a point of, um, you know, things in the name, like if you've got two numbers, you separate those with commas. And if you've got numbers and words, obviously they're separated with hyphens. So the first one is 3, 4 hyphen dimethyl heptane, three methyl but one ene, and four methyl hexan two all. Okay, so I'll do that again. I'll, I'll name all of these, or I'll write the names on once we get to the end of row two, and likewise with those. Okay, so moving on to compound D. So this is um, an aldehyde because we've got a C double bond or at the very end of the chain. So there's also a hydrogen on here, which is obviously not shown in skeletal formula. So this is an aldehyde. So the suffix is al. So the longest continuous chain 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5 versus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is a hex, hexanal, okay, hexanal. Um, let's put hex on there. And what have we got? We've got a methyl group on carbon number. So is it 1, 2, 3 or is it 1, 2, 3, 4? Well, some people might think it's the three because it's a smaller number, but that functional group determines carbon one, okay? Because it's the sort of key thing in the molecule. So that's carbon number one, two, three, therefore that's carbon number four. So this would be called, or this is called, sorry, four methyl hexanal. I'll write that up when we get to the end. Next one, so this is a ketone, so the suffix, the ending is on, O-N-E. Um, so we've got longest continuous chain, right down the middle there, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's another hex. Should have varied this up a little bit more than I have, apologies. Um, right, so we've got the functional group is going to determine the, the, the carbon numbers. So counting this way, one, two, three, four, versus one, two, three. Well, obviously three wins. So if that's carbon three, that's carbon four. So this would be called four methyl hexan three on. And then the final one in this row is, this is a carboxylic acid, this functional group here. So, Longest continuous chain, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, so eight wins. So this is oct. Um, that's carbon number one, because that's where the, the functional group member determines the, um, the, the carbon number. So that is carbon number three three and that's carbon number five okay so what have we got we've got a methyl group on three remember that's the longest chain so this here is an ethyl group okay so there's a new rule kicking in now so when you've got two substituents that are different in name, you use the alphabet rule. So you don't use the number rule, you use the alphabet rule. So what we would call this would be 5-ethyl, 3-methyl, octanoic acid. So you'll see that the ethyl came first in the name, even though it's on a higher numbered carbon. Okay, so 5-ethyl, 3-methyl, octanoic acid okay so just very quickly 4-methyl hexanal for this one 4-methyl hexan 3 on for that one and 5-ethyl 3-methyl octanoic acid okay so we're moving on to the final row now so we've got our first cyclic compound so this is a, a ring of four so it's a cyclobute so the butte is four cyclo because it's in a ring so it's a cyclobute and it's got, you've got two methyl groups, okay? And they're on adjacent carbons to each other. So we would call this, we'd just say, right, well, that's carbon number one, we'll call that carbon number two. So this is called one, two, dimethyl, because there's two methyl groups, one, two, dimethyl, cyclobutane. I'll name that at the end there. Okay, so the next one, so what have we got here? We've got a, a cycloprope, okay, so that's a ring of three, cycloprope. Um, what have we got? We've got, that's an ethyl group. We've got two methyl groups, so we'll say dimethyl there, it's going to be in the name, isn't it? Okay, right, so in terms of numbers, 
I would say, so ethyl is going to come first in the name, okay, so ethyl comes before methyl. So I'll say that that's carbon number one. So therefore that's carbon number two. Going that way we get two and going that way we get three. So we've got to go on the two. So the name of this would be um, one ethyl, two, two dimethyl cyclopropane. And the final one is a halogenoalkane. So it has um, the halogen with O on the end. So this is going to be chloro and bromo. If there was iodine, it would be iodo. And then just the backbone is um, an alkane. So something in. So the longest continuous chain, one, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be pent. So we've got a chlorine on carbon two. So if that's carbon two, that's got to be three. We've got a bromine on carbon three. Remember the alphabet rule? So bro, B comes before C, so bromo comes before chloro in the name, even though the number's bigger. So this would be three bromo, two chloro, pentane. I'll just read them back as my, my writing's absolutely terrible, especially there. So we've got here one, two, dimethyl, cyclobutane, one ethyl, two, two dimethyl, cyclopropane, and finally three bromo, two chloro, pentane. So I hope that was helpful. Some sort of nasty-ish ones on there. So hopefully that's been okay.